Finally, I'm gonna talk about empties. This has been gathering dust and crust and I'm ready to get rid of these. <laughs> this kind of goes along with my empties video, but I just saw today that Sephora is actually going to put recycling bins for old um, makeup containers. I have like a hair stuck to my chin. Basically, there's going to be recycling programs and bins at Sephora, but I'm pretty sure it's for small products. What I read was two by two inches and I don't understand what falls under that category, but let's dive into my empties. I am on a bit of a weight loss journey, health journey. I'm trying to be really good about my vitamins. And so I did finish up an Ali Extra Strength Probiotic. Everybody and their mother, sister, brother was doing this paired with poppy soda. It was like a trend on TikTok. I liked them a lot. The flavor was great. I did switch to, I think, one that has the probiotic and the multivitamin in it, but I would buy these again. I wish they came with more, but I like them. I do love me some Truly. I think they're a very like niche fun brand but I wish I would have learned my lesson the first time this happened to me and I didn't these are the moon rocks they're a body scrub and don't leave your truly products in the shower because they will literally melt with the heat and become nothing and worthless and you wasted your money so yeah there's that this Frank body wash is like a pH balanced clean body wash. It's like unscented. Um, it's great for like sensitive areas of the body. So I use this to clean my sensitive areas of the body, which makes it last forever because I only use it for certain spots and I highly, highly recommend. I have been so much better about using the products that I have because I'm trying really hard to do that, but that means I am down to my very last pharmacy cleansing balm. This one was great. It's like the basic green clean one. It's completely gone. I do leave one of these in my shower for double cleanses and pharmacy I think will always be my favorite brand of cleansing balm. Chef's kiss, always. I bought this mini Amika dry shampoo, the Perk Up dry shampoo, because I was cheap and I didn't want to buy the full size, and it went out surprisingly fast. Even though it's a mini, I swear I used it five times and it was gone. So I like the smell of it. I really don't know if I want to commit to a full size. Unfortunately, this is the only body wash that I can use with my eczema on my shins. Why do I have eczema on my shins? I don't know. It's the Aveeno Skin Relief with Coconut, and this has made its way up to being $10, which is... I'm not happy about it. And I wasn't kidding about these being crusty. I have hard water, so they look disgusting. This is the Glow Recipe Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser. I really liked the way that this felt on the skin, and I loved the way that it smelled, but it did burn my eyes like crazy if I ever got it in my eyes. I liked the pump, though. Like, everything about the aesthetic of this product was great. I will probably just move on to whatever cleansers I have in my collection, though. So it's, like, neutral feelings on this. Surprise, surprise, another one of these. This bag has been sitting in my bathroom for a long time. Here is the peaches and clean version of the pharmacy cleansing balm with dust all over it. Oh, it smells so good. I really like this one for summer. I don't even know if this is still available. If you care about your breath smelling good and it's something that you think about and you want to make sure it always smells good, you need to try this brand. Thera Breath is the only mouthwash that I use now. It's it's amazing. I don't want to sit here and pretend to be a dentist, but just try it. This is my cleanser of choice right now. It's from Vanna Cream. It's the gentle facial cleanser. So if you were ever wondering what I use on a regular basis in the shower, like a lot of these are shower products and not like vanity specialty products. This is like the ride or die, like basic face wash that I use. And I would use that cleanser after my cleansing balm. Now, this next product, I'm glad it's like late in the video because there's probably not a lot of you guys left. Don't sell this out. And just get one and share with the rest of us the best shave gel, closest shave, best shave, sensitive shave you will ever get. It's this. This is the First Aid Beauty Cleanser. This is also really good if you have sensitive skin or you're going through a sensitive time with your skin. It's one of those cleansers that you know it's just not going to F you up. So that was what I was using before Vanna Cream. I'm just cheap right now and I'm using Vanna Cream. I already went through like three of them though. Um, this is from Derma E. This is the Ultra Hydrating Alkaline Cleanser. It's a foaming cleanser, which sometimes I like the feeling of a foaming cleanser. This was really good too, but again, it's like I am fine using my basic stuff right now. I also have an oil cleanser. This is really old. Like This has been sitting around. This is the Makeup Rewind from Crave Beauty. This would be something that you use in place of a balm. So if you want to use an oil cleanser, balm cleanser, it all does the same thing. You have to follow it up with another cleanser. This is a really good oil cleanser, especially if you're prone to breakouts. This is one of the Truly Beauty polishes. This is the Acai one. I really like this one. Again, don't leave it in anywhere with hot water or steam because it will get ruined. Ooh, there's like old water in here. 
but the smell is so good this is like a luxury you don't need it but like it feels nice now and then to get one of these products so i probably will buy it again and another great cleanser this is the goat milk line from kate somerville i really like this line i like their moisturizer too but again it's like nothing to write home about cleansers are great but cleansers are just cleansers you put them on and you wash them off when you find one that works stick with it and I'm gonna have to recycle these on my own because they're all way too big for whatever program Sephora is doing. I think that's for like mascara tubes and lip glosses and things like that. But those are all my empties.